Welcome to Gatorsports.com's uh, Friday Night Lights preview with uh, Zach Alvaverde, Gainesville Sun's uh, your football recruiting writer. I'm Arnold Feliciano, sports editor. Zach, uh, it's a big event tomorrow night at the Ben Hill Griffith Stadium. Yeah, it's going to be a, a, an important night for Florida. Um, as they look to cap off their summer, they had a successful summer camp session in June. Um, they got some big names coming down on Friday night. Um, it's been a productive event for UF in the past couple of years. Um, and the names that they have, you know, coming on hand uh, on Friday night is, is going to be important. Um, uh, so some of the top guys that, that, that's going to be on campus is going to be five-star cornerback Adore Jackson. Uh, Gator fans are well aware of who he is. Um, he's one of the top targets for Florida in the class of 2014. He's a two-sport athlete. Um, he's getting recruited to play uh, football and also run track at UF. Um, and this will be his first visit to Gainesville. Um, and it's going to be really important. Um, for him to come down and enjoy himself at Florida's going to have a shot. Um, he's from California, and you, you know those West Coast kids are hard to get to the Sunshine State. So um, he, he'll be one of the top you know recruits visiting. Um, there are also going to be some in-state cornerbacks, uh, Quincy Wilson and Chris Lamons from Fort Lauderdale. Um, those guys are also top targets. Um, you know Florida wants to load up on cornerbacks this year with uh, you know possibility of Pierre Foy and Robertson going early in the draft, um, and also Jalen Watkins graduating. So. Um, all these guys have shown a lot of interest in the Gators, um, and, and this event is going to be really important because um, I think most of these guys want to make a decision sooner rather than later. Um, and, and with the commits that are going to be there um, and, and just the environment, it's, it's, really, uh, it's really important for UF to, to make an impression on these kids. Uh, Zach, how many commits uh, will be there tomorrow night? Uh, there's going to be seven commits. Florida is at 11 right now. Um, you know, guys like Duke Dawson, guys like Kari Clark, Will Greer, obviously the quarterback, um, and Dalvin Cook, the running back. Those are guys that really um, take it upon themselves to recruit other players to Florida. Um, and I'm sure they'll have their recruiting hat on tomorrow, uh, trying to get j guys to join them in the class. Um, you know, Florida still has some, you know, needs that they need to fill. Um, you know, along defensive end, they got a guy like Trent Harris that's coming from Winter Park, who, you know, he has Florida and Miami as his co-leaders. He looked like, you know, in the spring that he was going to pledge to Florida. Um, and he kind of held it back. Now he wants to make a decision in late July, early August. Um, so, and like I said, it's the Gators and the Canes with him. So with him coming down, Florida needing pass rushers, um, it's going to be crucial for him to come and enjoy himself because Florida can make a final push for him before he gets ready to make his decision. Um, I talked about the cornerbacks, obviously. Uh, Florida needs to get some linebackers. Uh, Quincy Wilson's teammate uh, from university school, uh, Richard Juergen, is going to be here. He's a consensus four-star linebacker who, you know, has also shown interest in Florida. Um, he hasn't been down in a while, um, so so it's, it's going to be important to to make a good impression on him as well. Um, and then over on the offensive side of the ball, the, the big name that's coming is Bo Scarborough. Um, he's a running back committed to Alabama. His cousin is uh, Ciante Lewis, is the tight end commit for Florida. He's coming down with him. Uh, both those guys stopped by Gainesville in June. Uh, before they went to IMG uh, for the tournament there, seven on seven. Um, but Bo didn't really get to visit the campus like he wanted to. This is going to be a, a real big trip for him. And if Florida's going to have any shot at flipping him, it's, it's going to take place with what happens you know, this weekend. Um, and I'm sure guys like Dalvin Cook and obviously Ciante, his cousin, are going to be working them pretty hard. Um, and, and then there's going to be some receivers that come down. Travis Rudolph is a guy that's supposed to come. There's a chance Johnny Dixon may show up as well. Um, and these guys, Florida doesn't have any receiver commits. So, um, you know, Florida seems like they're in a good spot with both of those guys. There's going to be some local guys coming as well. Um, so, so they need to, um, you know, see who shows up, see who they can make an impression on, um, and, and who they like the most um, as far as who ends up, you know, working out and, and, and participating in the event. Do you expect anybody to commit uh, tomorrow night? I think if there are going to be some commits, uh, Trent Harris, who I said wants to make a decision soon, is definitely a possibility. Um, but I would, I would uh, venture to say that there might be some 2015 guys that, that pull the trigger. Um, Byron Coward is a guy from Sefner Armwood. Florida's had success at that school in recent years with Alvin Bailey and Matt Jones. Um, he's a defensive end, class of 2015, that's going to be coming down. And he really, really seems like he's leaning strongly towards Florida right now. Um, and I could definitely see him. Uh, making a commitment to Florida. Uh, Martez Ivy, who's an offensive tackle from Apopka, uh, ESPN has him ranked fifth overall in their ESPN uh, 300 rankings. Um, uh, he really likes the Gators. He grew up a Gator fan. Uh, he visited Florida in June and, and camped. Um, and he said that Florida coaches are uh, 
pushing for a commitment from him, which you don't usually see. They usually don't take that approach uh, with guys. They kind of let them take their time and, and go through the process. But they, they really like him. Um, and, and if he enjoys himself, you know, they, they might give him a little nudge to, to, you know, maybe join the class. They don't have any commitments for 2015, so this could be a night where they get some. All right, that's uh, 615 at Florida Field, Van Hill Griffin Stadium. It's tomorrow night. It's open to the public, so you could uh, come out and see uh, the future Gators. And also look for Zach's coverage uh, the entire weekend, starting Friday night.